So let's dive right in. Here we've got PayPal webhooks for WordPress installed, and we're going to load the settings of the plugin so we can configure it with our PayPal app. For demo purposes, I'm going to be using Sandbox, so I'll check the box for Sandbox mode, and here I have a PayPal app configured for demo purposes. I'm going to copy my client ID and paste that back into the plugin. Now we're going to go back and grab the secrets and copy and paste that as well. Next, we can choose from all the webhooks that we might want to register. So there's a long list. If we want to add just one at a time, we can choose any sub item. Uh, we can click back into the list and review some more of these. If we want to add a bunch of sub items at once, we can click the bolded parent item. So for example, if I want to add all these payment webhooks, I can click that and that'll bring them all in. So we could also enable logging. We got a couple of options for deleting webhook data. You might want to do that over time. For now, we'll just save. So now, with this registered, each time a webhook is triggered, for any one of these webhook events, it's going to send that data to this URL. And the webhook data will be available in the front end of the plugin. Right now, of course, we don't have any webhooks available in here to look at. So let's simulate one. We'll go back to the PayPal developer site and here in the app settings now that we registered that we can see the webhook showing up here as registered. So for the simulation I'm going to grab this URL and copy it. And then we'll click on webhook simulator. We'll paste that in. And now we can choose which event type we want to register. We'll go ahead and just do a checkout order completed and send test. So here we can see it's been successfully queued up in the webhook system at PayPal. And here's a look at the raw string of data that we're going to get when the webhook triggers back at our website. So we can scroll down and see that a checkout includes quite a bit of information here order amounts, buyer email information, etc. So now we can go back to the plugin and we will refresh the webhooks page. And now we see that webhook showing up. So let's go ahead and click into the details of that. And now we can see that same string of data available here for us inside of WordPress. So we can scroll down here, we'll see that all that data. Now at the very bottom of any webhook, we've provided a hook template. Now this is for WordPress. And you can see we've got the AngelEye PayPal webhooks checkout order completed hook. And it parses out some data there, makes everything available so you can quickly build your own WordPress hook functions inside of a plugin or inside of your theme file, however you prefer to do it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this hook function template here that's provided. And we'll go, I have a basic plugin file here prepared, so I'm just going to paste in my hook function. And what we can do is just set up a, a basic template or a, a basic email to ourselves just sending ourselves the data so we can see that the hook was hit and it triggered and it is actually functioning as expected. So we'll just make this real simple. We'll say to angelidemo at gmail. We'll add a subject here. Email from PayPal webhooks for WordPress. And what's the message going to be? We'll start with the PayPal webhook URL was hit. And then we'll add on to that. We'll just do a new line and we'll dump out the decoded data. So up above, you'll notice 
on line 21, we have the JSON decode. So down here in our email, we're just gonna go ahead and dump that out. And we'll make it readable in the email that we'll get. And then we'll just use WP mail to go ahead and fire this off. Add in our two, our subject and our message. And our webhook is ready to go. So again, here's the decoded data. So we know that it's going to show up as an array and we'll go ahead and upload that back to our demo site. So now back at the demo site, we'll go to our plugins page and we'll scroll down so that we can activate the webhooks for WordPress processor plugin that we just uploaded. Now that that's ready to go, we'll come back to our simulator one final time. We'll paste in our listener again. And once again, we'll select the checkout order completed event type because that's the webhook that we configured. We'll fire that off and we see that it is now in the queue. Here's some fresh data. Scroll down and take a quick look at this. And then back in our plugin, we'll look at the webhooks, we'll reload this page, and there's our new webhook. And what we also see is that in my Gmail account here, we got an email, email from PayPal Webhooks for WordPress, and here is the array data all dumped out. So that was quick and easy, just a, a nice example of how easy it is to get set up with PayPal webhooks and get the data available for you to do whatever you need to do.